guys andrew here welcome back to drew tutorial and in this video i'm gonna show you how to change the this pc icon on your windows pc to make it look really really fancy right so how do you go about doing that now i'm gonna show you first and foremost how you to change it basic and then i'm gonna show you one of my favorite ways how to let's say tune up my icons and make them look really really nice so in order to change the icon from what the current default icon that it has right now, simply right click on your desktop and go to personalize. If you're using Windows 11, if you're using Windows 10, basically once you have this more option open, your let's say right click will look like this and you can simply go to personalize. It will take you here just the same. Now here on the personalization, you want to click on teams. And then from here you have on the related settings, desktop icon settings you want to simple click on that now from here you will see the icons that you have the desktop icons now you want to ensure that you click on the desktop and then you have the option that says change icon and from here you can change to whichever icon you want as you can see there so you can easily go ahead and change that right however what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you my favorite way. So let's come back to this in just a moment. I will minimize that. Now, what I'm going to do, just simply head over to your browser and you want to simply type in icon icons, right? It's icon icons with a dash dot com. And from here, you can download icons for your computer, right? So I'm going to simply type in computer, right? And you will see quite a lot of nice computer icons up here. So let me find something that I really like or something that looks relatively cool, right? So let's say we are using, what about, let's see, something that looks really, really cool. Maybe I'll go for this one here, right? So let's say I want to use this. By the way, you will have some ads on the website. So you can simply close those off, no problem. Now, once you find the icon that you like, you want to ensure that you choose the ICO option. Because as you can see, you have PNG, you have icons, but you want to download the ICO. It is important, right? And you want to take the largest option that you have here. So as you can see, you have from 32 pixels, but you want to ensure that you take the largest one that they have here. Keep in mind, if you're creating this, you want to do 500px to 500px. That's how you want to create it if you're creating icons manually. So keep that in mind, right? So, but for the, this website, they're known for it so you can easily go ahead and download the ICO with the highest option that they have here so I'm going to download this option here it will start to download automatically and if it doesn't download automatically after a few seconds you can simply click and it will basically download now as you can see mine is download that goes directly into my downloads folder so I'm going to minimize that and I am going to show you that I have it in my downloads folder. So here's the icon. Keep in mind that if you're downloading icons, you want to have them stored in a place where you can easily find them and let's say to keep them safe because you need to ensure that your icons are safe because if you download icons and you set them up and you somehow accidentally delete them then it's going to mess up your icons on your computer however that shouldn't be a problem too much because you can always reset to the default and i'm going to show you how to do that as well but for best case you know for best practices you want to ensure that you put them in a folder, put them somewhere, save them so that you can always have them available, right? So go back to it again. And as you can see, I'm going to click on my options there. Go back to desktop icon settings, as you can see, then click on this PC. And as I said, if you somehow mess them up and want to restore them back to default, you have the option here to restore the default and it will definitely help you to put those back to default. So I'm gonna change the icon to my new icon that I downloaded. So I won't choose one of these default ones, but I'm gonna click on browse. And from here, I'm gonna to go to my downloads folder where I have this stored, select the icon, then simply click on open, and then I will click okay here, then apply, then okay. Now, if I minimize this, have a look at this on my PC, guys. How beautiful is that? So you can see that my this PC icon looks really fantastic. And as I said to you, you can do this for whichever one you want. So if you go back to the website here, as you see, yeah, I have a bunch of different options that I can could have really choose from. It's really up to you. You can basically choose whatever you want, download and change at any point in time. Here you have it, guys. I really hope you found value within this video. And if you do, don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.